got him. My first time. Just drop it, pick it. Drop it, pick it. So, it's a bit windier than I hoped, but we're going to try to get after some fish. going to try to hit the lake a little bit, see if I can get into some peacocks, some snooks, some tarpon. We'll see what's around. See what's around. See what we can catch. It's too windy on this side. I can try to go to the other side of the lake. Let's see what we can get into. But first, let's check what the wind is doing on the water. Pretty breezy right now. Not sure if you guys can even hear this. Alright, so the wind is coming straight at our side, but I still might be able to get it done. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. We're kind of sheltered a little bit by these buildings. Yeah, that big peacock that was right off that, that was right up on that bank, got ran over by the ducks and got spooked and hasn't came back, so. I was kind of hoping he wasn't pre-spawning. Oh, I see another one. There's another one hanging out down here pretty deep I was hoping he was pre-spawning which means that they circle looking for I just had one swipe as I picked up to recast oh there was another one swiping oh another one swiping there's a bunch of them sitting right down there right on that ledge now the big one I was looking at, staring at, never swiped the fly. He actually just pushed off. But there was a, a group of smaller ones that kept swiping the fly. They're gone now too. In my text. I was just riding by now and I saw your bike outside. I hit up Ed to see if he was around and wanted to get out after some fish. So here we are, we're out here looking around for some peacock bass, some tarpon, some snook, whatever we could get into. Got him. All right, so the, the spot that always produces at least one good sized peacock has produced one good sized peacock. Colors on them. Look how orange and, yeah. and gold. It's not huge, but it's not little. Nice peacock. Not really much I could do but drop them. Came up to the corner, caught a peacock. Now we're gonna get back on the bikes and see what else we can find. Ed, you got something to say to the folks on the tube? Oh, I'm excited to get back at it and uh, let's get some more uh, peacocks on. Let's do it. Let's go. Make it happen. Ed's on his e-bike again. I'm back on the Amish bike again. We will get to it and see if we can get to some fish today. Let's go. It's 
going to be very difficult for your bike. Oh, yeah. oh, you got it. I'm sure there might be tarpon in here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But I've seen some fish roll in here that look like they're tarpon, but I haven't got a 100% confirmation ID. But what I have caught in here is a bunch of largemouth bass, like a lot. Good size to them or no? Yeah. That's not a bad one. Okay, there it is. All right, I hope I got that eat because that was insane. Oh yeah. Holy crap. I don't know if I captured that eat. But that was gnarly. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, you just had one too. Oh, there's another one. Popped you off. Okay, I'm sure we're gonna get kicked out of here any second now, so let me try to get this. Oh, he popped me off. He took my fly. Well, I had him on the bank. I'm assuming that counts, right? Exactly. I had him out of the water. I think I got it on the camera. What sucks is that that was my only fly. Oh, so I got a box. No, I have a, block, a box too, but that was my only good fly. Oh. <laughs> Look at these fish. Oh, Holy crap. We should get going before they kick us out. Yeah, go ahead and catch one. Huh? Catch one. I gotta, I gotta tie up another fly. Tie up another fly. That was nuts. We're exploring some of the lake in our neighborhood. And we pull up to this lake and we're like, ah, oh, there's probably absolutely nothing in here. That's a big fish. We ride up and then see the Paku working the shoreline to drop the fly in his face and he freaking inhaled it. I'm not sure if the camera caught it because I'm up pretty high but crazy eat, got the fish in. Um, as I was fighting it, Ed dropped his fly in, hooked another one, popped him off. I got my fish out of the water and when I was trying to grab him, he ended up shaking and popped me off. Took my fly, so I'm gonna try to retie a fly right now and see if I can get another one. But he cut through that 25 pound with no problem. So let's see if we can get it done. Although it is my first Paku. Technically I'm counting it because I did have him out of the water. So let's see. Wow. Came off again. Did he break you off? We're gonna have to go up. They have teeth like like humans. We're gonna need to go much bigger. Um, I'm using 25 and he broke it.
Is that? Oh crap. Dude, it was gnarly. Gnarly teeth like a little piranha. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Get that on camera here. Yes, sir. Alright, now let's keep moving before they take us out. Got caught in the tree, didn't see that tree, man. Well, good thing TFO has lifetime warranty. There we go. Pretty reaching easy fix, soon. huh? I said reaching out to them soon. Yep, heading back home. 